A few months ago I made a video showcasing my network, the centre of which is this 24 port Netgear network switch. I've been looking to replace it for a while, mainly because it doesn't support PoE, and that means I have to have an extra 5 port PoE switch to power things like Wi-Fi access points and CCTV cameras. Fortunately, these days it's pretty easy to find used network switches for decent money on eBay, and I found this 24 port PoE switch for only 65 quid, plus a couple of extra for postage. And it took like a week to show up, which I wasn't very happy about. And when it did finally show up, it was full of dust and pretty messed up looking, so I decided to take it fully apart to give it a good cleaning. As you can see, the inside of this thing is really dusty. In fact, so much so that when I first powered it on, it emitted a big cloud of dust from the four fans. So we'll definitely need to clean this out. The outer case is no better. You can see the fan vents of this grime accumulated around them, and they also have this weird dent. So we'll need to straighten that out. Off camera I used a compressor to blow most of the dust off and you can see that even after the first go it's already made such a huge difference. I went on to remove this daughter board to make sure that we got all the dust underneath it. I can see a big heat sink under there so clearly there's something important that needs cooled. Dusting completed, I reattached the daughter board and started to reassemble the front cover. Next let's tackle this bend in the cover. To get rid of this I simply laid it down on a flat surface and give it a good whack with a hammer. Now before we go to all the bother of reassembling this, let's plug it in and make sure it definitely works. And yep, that looks good to me. And that means it's time to put the whole thing back together and ready to go into the rack upstairs. Reassembly complete, it's now time to take the old switch out. It feels really wrong pulling all the connectors out like this. And we can also get rid of the little 5 port PoE since we don't need that anymore. Well it might not be the prettiest wiring in the world but it's in and it's working. And we just have time to check out what's in the web interface. There's not a huge pile in here, but I was glad to see that this has been updated to the latest firmware, and there's also this cool device view that shows you where everything is plugged in. Now all I have to do is decide what to do with the old switches.